Hey guys, Twitch here from Creep Design. Today we are doing another challenge. This challenge is the Vintage Tattoo Challenge and it is hosted by Crystal from the Crafty Creech DIYs and Furniture Flips as well as Levon from the Vintage Decor. Uh, be sure to check the description for their for links to their channels as well as a link to the playlist for the challenge. So, of course, Vintage Tattoo is the inspiration for this challenge. Uh, over the last few months, we've been noticing a lot of negative comments from people on our friends' YouTube channel and Facebook pages and stuff like that, where people think they have the right to leave negative and absolutely disgusting comments about people's choice of tattoos that they have done and the fact that they even have them at all. Um, yeah, people are going to say negative things. It's going to happen. You can't avoid it. And we're not having a whinge bed or anything like that. We tend to suck it up and deal with it. I personally haven't had any comments about my tattoos yet. I say yet and you will find out why shortly. Um, but it's unnecessary. It's absolutely disgusting, some of the comments we've seen, and this is hopefully going to help with acceptance and tolerance and opening people's eyes up maybe, or maybe not. Some people don't want their eyes opened up. Um, but anyway, this challenge is also coming to you right before Valentine's Day, so we're trying to incorporate love and acceptance into this challenge. It doesn't have to be literally love and acceptance in the design, but if it can be incorporated, that's possibly a bonus. Okay, so I have a date coming up for the 28th of February, and I will be getting some fresh ink done, and I am so excited about it. I'm not telling you where I'm getting it done or what I'm getting done, because it's going to be a surprise. Some of you already know, but I'm really excited. It's been... A long time or it feels like it's been a long time since I've had anything done and I am pumped I absolutely love it everything about it um, so but this is why I'm like I haven't had any negative comments about my tattoos yet but I imagine it's gonna come after I get these get this tattoo done because it's in a spot that's very upfront so to speak and I imagine there's going to be people that are like, oh my god, where did you get that done? That's horrible. That's disgusting. How's that going to look when you're 90? I won't care. I'll be like, cool. I did things I wanted to do. But anyway, <laughs> let's get on with the challenge. So this is the piece that I will be doing for this challenge. And it was gifted to me by the lovely Angela. Thank you, Angela. I have big plans for this very unsuspecting piece. But first of all, I need to give it a clean. So let's get that out of the way. All right, now that I've given everything a good clean, top and underneath, um, I'm going to be scuff sanding and smooth sanding the whole piece, but first I'm going to sand back this top and see what's underneath. I don't know if it's real, actually real wood or if it's just a veneer on top. Um, so I'm going to see what that's like and then I may have to alter the design a bit and we'll go from there. Okay, it looks like the top is going to be a veneer. I don't know how thick or thin it is. Um, and it looks like the edge is MDF. So, yeah. 
So I'm going to sand the top back um, and still go ahead with staining it like I've planned to do. Uh, but if I do any damage around the edges, I'll have to readdress that or maybe do a border on it or something. Um, but this edge will get painted along with the base. After removing the old finish with 120 grit sandpaper, I then went over it again briefly with 240 grit sandpaper and then finished by hand with 400 grit sandpaper. Now I am of course painting this coffee table in Black Bear. You guys said you wanted me to paint more black and I am listening and I am absolutely okay with painting more black. Katsumili Mineral Paint is self leveling and I think that is the main thing I love about this paint is the fact that I can be as rough as I am as a person when painting on. I'm careful about edges and stuff to make sure it doesn't like run over the edges and all of that jazz but you can see for yourself I am you know slapdash with my painting. I'm not slapping it on but you know and I'm not heavy handed with it so there's not I'm not putting on a thick layer of paint or anything but I don't have to be careful about my brush strokes and which way I'm brushing because it self levels and it comes out so smooth no matter how I brush it on. Once the paint is completely dry, I then go back in with my sander and tidy those edges back up. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. It's like I've burnt through, but I've burnt through to more wood. It's like this two different layers of veneer on here um, and I'm a little worried that it's going to be noticeable once I do the white uh, the black wash on it so I'm going to have to dirty it up a bit when I do the black wash and do a bit of a border around there to try and disguise it a bit more but that's easy enough to do when you're going for a dark stain or a dark wash. So for my black wash, this is just literally just some black bear mixed with water. Now if you watched the last Halloween piece I did, for the last Halloween challenge I should say, um, you would have seen me do this before, but basically I put down two coats of black wash. Depends on how dark you want it, but I go usually go with two coats all over and then I work my way from the outside in and build up kind of a halo and just build up the corners and the edges to be darker. Um, the main reason I like doing this is because A, I really like the way it turns out and I think it looks great and it adds a point of difference, but it's also really, really good if you're trying to hide something around the edges. So if you've got holes that you've puttied up and you want to disguise them you can go really black around the edges or the corners to hide those 
or in this case where I've burnt through the veneer a bit I can use it to disguise that and it works really well. I'm going to be painting a design on the top of this coffee table so to protect the black washing that I've done I'm putting two coats of Cartamilli clear coat on the top so that whilst I'm working on my design or even just transferring the design onto it I am protecting the black wash so I won't have any trouble cleaning off any mistakes. Okay, so whilst this looks like an absolute <laughs> <laughs> um, this is how I map things out when I'm drawing things or designing things. So my base design is under there and then if I'm wanting to add other things, I get separate pieces of paper like transfer paper or in this poos. poos. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, in this case... <laughs> I'm using baking paper um, and I'm just adding pieces and this way if I don't like it once I step back and look at the whole layout I can say for example take this away grab another piece of paper put it there and try again and do something else there um, that way you know I'm not messing up my original design yeah so I'd explain that Okay, so I'm just going to stop here a second and discuss something that we briefly discussed at the start of the video because up until now I thought I hadn't had any nasty comments about my tattoos and then I found this. Okay, so I was going to discuss that in depth but rather than giving Janice the screen time that she doesn't deserve, I'm going to show you some of my most recent favourite comments. They are lovely and they deserve it more. And I'm also going to say thank you to 
Catherine from Owling Dog Art Gallery and an anonymous person and Shari for supporting me through the Buy Me A Coffee app. I am always so happy to see that come up and your comments are always wonderful and that support really does help me out. Um, so you guys definitely deserve the screen time more than Janice does. So thank you and we'll get back to the video.
quick reminder of what she looked like before. And I've included this video I've made for TikTok because I thought you'd find it amusing my attempt at making a transition. Smooth. Alright, well, that's it guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks again to Crystal and Levon for hosting this awesome challenge. I absolutely loved it and enjoyed every bit of it. Don't forget to check the description for the challenge playlist if you're not already on the playlist and for all products used in this video. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.